The most news in the morning. CNN's American Morning. Weekday, 6 a.m. Eastern. We got another doomsday movie, folks. Some pretty scary stuff out there. That was a scene from the new movie, 2012. It's based on what happens when the Mayan calendar supposedly ends and all heck breaks loose here on Earth. Scientists say the idea of the world coming to an end in 2012, complete nonsense, but that hasn't stopped a lot of those doomsday chatterers out there online and whatnot. So joining me now is Jim Garvin. He's a chief scientist at the NASA, uh, the Goddard Space Flight Center. Uh, sir, thank you for being here. Now, now NASA, I, I thought you all were busy trying to, to build a new rocket to send people into space and trying to discover life on the moon and Mars, but y you're putting together a PR campaign uh, against this movie, essentially. Not, not against the entertainment portion, but against some of the themes. Why do, is it important enough for NASA that you've got to come out and talk about this? Well, I think, TJ, what's important is that NASA really uh, is dazzled by what the Hollywood can do to depict things that are a lot of fun for people to see. But we want people to also pay attention to the science behind the facts. What's really happening out there? Because we live in space, so that's our real position here. Now, you're telling me no truth to it at all. There is no chance that in December of 2012, the world is going to have an issue. Absolutely not. We understand what's happening. We're learning every day, of course. We have satellites studying the Earth, watching the universe, looking for planets. There is no indication, not one iota, that any of the things depicted in the film are going to happen in late 2012. Now, we'll be busy then watching the things, but nothing that you need to worry about. Now, would you even tell us if there was something to worry about? Absolutely. In fact, I would say NASA is one of the best disseminators of stuff that you could imagine, not only on our website, but just by the nature of who we are as engineers and scientists. We oh. like to tell the world. Okay, well, help us and tell the world right now on the logic behind, or at least the idea, uh, the theme of this movie is that the Mayan calendar runs out. So give people a, a, a short little background, real, real short if you can, just why that is connected to the end of the world. Well, the Mayans were great astronomers a long time ago, and their calendars had end times, just like December 31st. And meanwhile, there were other ancient civilizations that described other planets. And if you put those things together with climate change that we have today, that we're watching, with the idea that there's new undiscovered dwarf planets, put them all together, churn them up, and make a movie, it can make for the kind of doomsday prediction you see today or coming up today from Hollywood. Now, are you seeing any anomalies out there, anything ha happening out there in the cosmos that would cause some kind of alarm, even something here on Earth, just things starting to get a little out of balance in any way that would maybe, uh, at least you all are checking out and leave you scratching your heads a little bit and a little something to keep an eye on and worry about? Well, TJ, we don't know what we don't know, but we're curious enough That's to comforting. keep... Yeah, well, but we're curious enough to keep watching, and of course there's things we, we haven't understood, but, but we have our, our finger on the pulse of our planet, of the universe, and by learning, we can be aware of what could happen. And right now, there's no indication from the historical record, from what we're seeing, of any of the kind of doomsday things that could depict our Earth. In fact, our Earth is one tough nut. <laughs> well, that's a good way to put it there. Uh, what about this other idea of solar maximums? Uh, this idea that possibly we could have a peak of solar flare activity, uh, at least in a couple of years, and that could, even if it doesn't end, lead to the end of the world, could cause uh, power outages, could fry our grids, and we could be in the dark. Well, of course, the solar max is coming. We can't stop that cycle, and we expect it will peak in 2012, 2013 or so. We're watching it. We have a new satellite that will get the most incredible data on it, uh, the Solar Dynamics Observatory, going up in about a year. So uh, there will be effects. We've had... Oh, uh, what are those effects going to be now, those solar max? You said that is something to keep an eye on in 2012, just so happens possibly. So what are the effects going to be of, uh, of those flares? Well, depending on how big they are, uh -huh. um, we can have outages of cell phone. We can have disruption of GPS service. We could have some of the satellites that give us our information on weather could go into a safe hold where they're waiting and watching till we can bring them out of sleep. Lots of little things can happen like that, but nothing unusual. That, that, that sounds unusual. That sounds like scary stuff there, Doc. Well, it is, but, you know, we've, we've designed our systems. We're a lot of great engineers at NASA right. to live through these things, oh. and we've done it before. All right, movie comes out this weekend. You're going to go see it? Oh, absolutely. Hollywood's fun, and so is science.